Hi there, I'm Don Klein. Years ago when I was into hand loading with an RCBS single stage press, I lived in an apartment. I had no kind of a bench to mount it on, I had to mount it on a table with clamps. And uh, needless to say, every time I pulled the handle, the table tipped over. I didn't have any source for a decent bench, didn't have a workshop to build one or anything, so eventually for that and other reasons I got out of hand loading. Now I'm thinking about getting back into it. In fact, I'm planning on getting back into it. But I want a good solid bench for, this, for a change. I want a rock solid bench so that it, there's no sign of it wobbling or tipping over or anything else when I pull the handle. So that's what I'm building here. It's a good rock solid heavy duty bench. I'm having to do it here in the house because this morning it was 20 some odd degrees outside. And I'm going to paint the thing in here. So if I... Uh, painted it out there it would take forever to dry. In here it might take a little longer because it's still not 77 degrees in here but uh, I can at least leave it set up overnight if I have to. Now here's the uh, drawing that I put together. You can see I'm not a professional draftsman by any stretch but you get an idea of how it, how it puts together. There is one little problem with this. It, uh, the metal fittings that I I'm going to show you that I'm using to fasten the 2x4s to the 4x4 legs interfere with each other up near the top under the uh, top surface. Therefore I'm going to have to lower one set of the 2x4s that are right up against the top according to this drawing. I'm going to have to lower them uh, enough to clear the metal fittings so that the metal fittings don't interfere with each other. It can either be the back one across the back or the uh, both of them along the sides. I haven't decided which yet, but uh, I'll decide as the as the uh, assembly progresses. The bill of materials, um, just for a matter of explanation, I'm using a a, four, a three by five foot sheet of oak ply for the top surface of the uh, bench, and. What happened was I bought uh, a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch oak ply and I cut the end off of it, 3 feet off the end. I cut that piece into two pieces, uh, 18 inches by 4 feet each. Then I cut one foot off the length of the big piece that was remaining and cut that one down the middle to create two 6 inch by 5 foot pieces. So now I've got one 3 by 5 foot two 18 inch by four feet and two six inch by five feet. Okay, here is the paint job. I've already painted these four uh, leg posts yesterday. And uh, when I got through painting them, it took about, I'd say two and a half hours for them to dry sufficiently. I came back down and checked them and they were dry but the surface was awfully rough. It was not tacky. The paint was not, it was not paint, it's finished. Um, it was uh, not tacky, but it was definitely a uh, rough surface. They say in the instructions for the paint to be sure and sand it between coats, and it really says it needs three coats. I'm not sure I'm going to give it three coats, but um, I went over it with some really fine grit, about 1500 grit sandpaper, and all it took was just one swipe, one or two swipes in each direction to uh, smooth it out just perfectly. So I don't think that uh, sanding is a big problem either. Okay, one set of these uh, legs, uh, one set of the two befores, have to be located. Uh, about two and three quarter inches down because they've got to clear this mount for the tabletop. So that means <clears throat> this has to go down here about like so, which is two and three quarter inches down. Now I'll put this down on the table where I can do the screwing in. Mm -hmm. 
the 2 by 4 hanger has to be 2 and 3 quarter inches down from the end of the of the uh, top surface of the leg here. We get it centered. Drop a starter hole. Put a screw in it. Do the same thing on the other hole over here. Making sure that the 2 before 4 will fit in there. It will, with a little bit of pounding. Alright, now from the top surface of this, which is where the uh, tabletop will be, the bench top, I need to, to give 10 inches of clearance to the surface of the next shelf, plus 3 quarter inches for the thickness of the shelf, so which will be 10 and 3 quarter inches. Which I'm going to mark here. Now, from the top surface of that one to the top surface of the next one is another 10 inches. You get the idea. Okay, I just wanted to show you this uh, very important aspect of the thing. If these are the two back legs, and you're going to have two befores running between them, these are for the two befores running to the front legs. If you're going to have two befores running between the back legs, you have to put them here, and you have to put them here. You can't put them all on the same side, because then it isn't going to work. So just thought I'd point that out to you, because that's a mistake I would very easily make if I wasn't paying attention here. There's an old saying in my country, in my family, you're probably familiar with it if you do very much of this kind of work. The old saying is, nothing is ever easy. As usual, I'm finding out to be the case here. These two by four um, hangers, the screws that are in, the holes that are inside of it to fasten the two by four in there aren't big enough for the bolts. I think that's because when they use them for construction, they just drive nails in there, which I'm not going to do. So that means I'm going to have to drill them out. I'm marking each of these legs as to where they're going uh, under the desk so I can keep track of which side the uh, two before hangers have to go on. I'll mark each one of them that way. Now here's another issue that has to be considered. Um, if you're using this kind of hanger, two before doesn't quite make it to the end of the hanger. So you've got to take that into account for your measurement. If you're using the other kind of hanger, like this one, the two before actually sticks up above the hanger, so you have to line the two before up with the mark. This is 10 inches below the tabletop. Uh, you have to line that up before you drill the holes here, or it'll, or the uh, shelves won't be level. I just thought I'd mention here, show you something that I guess you could call this a an incredible case of serendipity or divine providence.
Maybe I prefer to think of divine providence. Anyway, mentioned to you that I bought six of the wrong kind of hangers. Well, as it turns out, it's a good thing I did. These hangers have two screws going in here. These hangers sit a little bit lower because the 2 before 4 sticks up above them. And that means the screws go in between these two. If I put this kind of hanger over here, the screws hit each other and won't go in. And all I can say is nothing is ever easy, but sometimes things work out. Okay, here's what the back rails look like. The two rear posts or, or legs and the rails going across uh, from the left to right. This is what it'll be look like. There's no screws in it yet. I haven't even put it together, so it's standing there balanced on its own. piece of tubo for to protect the wood. Okay, now just for uh, insurance or safety's sake, what do you want to call it? This is 43 and 1 eighth, no, 43 and a quarter inches from there to there. This is 43 and a half, and I can move them together that much. So, okay. Two inches in, and let's see, I'm going to make it 16 inches. Thirty two inches. These are not real critical measurements. Come in, Puss.
not going clear through with this. I'm just starting a hole. This is the underside of the tabletop, so I'm only going to give it one coat. I'm going to give the top surface three coats. Okay, the tabletop is upside down right now, which means that when I mount these uh, pieces on here, this piece is going to be on the back leg back there. So I have to orient it according to what the back leg wants, which is right about there with the metal on the back posts, the metal flat side goes toward the outside. On the front posts, they go towards the front. What I've done is I carefully measured the width of the pieces at the back, the legs, how far apart they are, with these metal flanges on them and subtracted that from the width of the table, which is not quite five feet. It's about uh, a quarter of an inch short of five feet, probably because of the cuts they, uh, they had to make with a saw. So I took that into account, measured everything out, divided by two, found out what the distance is from the end here to the metal um, end butt fitting and I'm about to drill the holes and we're going to hope for the best. I say drill the holes, I've already, I'm not going to drill the holes, I'm going to drive in the screw. And that torqued the thing just slightly, so I'm going to move it back. Do it again. I didn't do a starter hole on this one, so this will prove the hardy, the hardy squeezers. No worries, oak ply is no problem to hardy screws. Okay, that's one. I'm going to do the same thing on the other four. Uh, I've already calculated it, figured out what it is on the uh, calculation sheet here. So now I've got to do the measurements, mark it and mount the other two. Then my wife and I are going to turn the thing over and set it down on the foundation on, on the uh, legs and uh, drive the screws. I'm going to drive the screws in from the side. And there it is. All the fittings on the underside of the 
tabletop fit. Truth be told, I had to adjust one of them position slightly, about an eighth of an inch. But it's all together. All I got to do is now is fasten the thing together with screws. Put the, fasten the tabletop on with the legs. appears to be cooling in a faint blue pool. It's not too thick. It's standing in a puddle, so I have to smear it. This stuff sure does dry fast. Well, that looks about as good as it's going to get for this pass. That seems to smooth it right off. Doesn't take very much, apparently. I'm not quite surprised at how easy it is to stand it. Now this piece of molding goes on the side here, and I have to put this on myself. So I'm doing it the same way. Voila. Oh, I just gave away my age. That was in the 60s. Okay. <clears throat> All right, this will be the second coat that I'm putting on the tabletop. And the first quote coat for the back, uh, right back here at the back. I'm going to give the top here a total of two more coats for a total of three. And I'm going to give the rest of it, which is the back up here and the trim around the sides. A total of two coats, two more coats. I haven't had any up till now, so this will be a new one. Well, here we are. This is the final result. Up against the wall, two shelves underneath. Well, it's not quite final because I still have to finish those two shelves with the polyacrylic. But uh, you can see what it looks like. I've got little uh, sliders under the legs there so I can slide it back up against the wall. I've got three coats of poly polyacrylic uh, finish on it. And it looks like it's all ready to go. All that being said, I'll tell you the truth, next time, if I ever did this again, I would not use the metal fittings, at least on the 2 before 4s I'd run the 2 before 4s from one end of the um, legs to the other. It would be cheaper, and it would be a lot less hassle with the uh, metal fittings interfering with each other. Other than that, I'm very pleased with the results. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can... Uh, build something or get you have some ideas about building your own and uh, hope it works out for you. Have a real good day. This is Don Klein, Freedom Fighter Nut, signing off.